So welcome. Just uh, wanted to share a little bit about uh, fear <laughs> uh, on the subject of fear and how we can basically overcome the fear and not have it control us. <clears throat> so, you know, what is fear, really? Um, I believe the, many people have def defined it as uh, F-E-A-R, um, false evidence appearing real. And um, that particular definition uh, sort of translates as uh, something that we are seeing that appears real to us at the time, but is it's really our interpretation of it that's making the thing that we're fearing um, appear fearful to us. Because if you could take you could take the same situation or uh, thing that you're afraid of, and and have someone else over here that's completely not afraid of it. So. In that sense, it's very uh, subjective. Fear is subjective. It's, it's something that, that we are doing uh, ourselves when we experience it. Um, of course, there is like, you know, the fear where, you know, a gr big gorilla might be about to attack us or a bear, I should say. Um, and that's like a, you know, a fight or flight response, you know, it, for the body to protect itself. So that's sort of like a different type of um, more kind of uh, genuine type of fear where it's like uh, the ego protecting itself, you know. But most, most of the other type of fear is psychological that we, that we make up ourselves. So it's really understanding um, where it comes from, you know, and for most, for the most part, it, fear is usually associated with uh, our own future projection, our own, the mind projecting itself onto uncertainty about the future. Um, it can be a sense of not being in control and the ego doesn't like to not feel in control of the outcome that it wants. So a fear of things going wrong, a fear of things not turning out the way um, the ego wants it to, or the person wants it to. Um, but it is our own doing, so it's our own um, projection onto a stimulus, whatever that may be, you know, um, the loss of a job, um, loss of money, whatever it is. So, because it's often based in a lack of belief as well, that we're not going to have enough or be enough or do enough. So fear can often be around our own sense of self um, and our own sense of um, identity and what we feel we are capable of either accomplishing or being or doing. And if we feel that we are falling short of our expectation of any of those components, then 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 fear can arise because it's, it's a sort of judgment as well. Um, so future projection about an outcome that we think is going to materialize or not materialize. And so the mind projects onto that scenario and then and then creates this fear but then sometimes there's also just fear there for no reason whatsoever and you know we can kind of see it as a, a phenomena then something that's arising in the body just like any emotion uh, like anxiety uh, so so it's like a, an energy a sort of form of energy that's just arising in the body and as long as we don't become identified with it when it's arising in our experience, then we don't have to let it control us 
or take us even further down a dark hole um, and perpetuate it. So we don't want to perpetuate that. And if we don't feed it what it wants, which is more thinking about the unknown, more thinking or worrying about what's going to happen or what's not going to happen, as long as we don't feed that um, energy that's, that's active, then, then it will just fade. It's just got to dissolve. Which is the case with, with all these emotions. It's fine to let them arise. It's fine to let them be. But if we um, feed them uh, with our thoughts, then, then they grow and it gets bigger and then it becomes a problem for us. So psychological fear um, is usually a projection which is taking us out of this present moment. So if we are to live in the present moment completely, 100% fully aware of this moment now, then there's no reason to be fearful because we just are in this moment. We can't control what's going to happen further down the line. And if we really just kind of almost surrender to that, you know, uh, that sense of that we can't control the outcome, then we're not controlled by fears and anxieties and worries about the future. So instead of contracting, you know, because it's like you think of something and then the fear comes up and you can feel that fear. And it's like a, an energy that's sort of like, uh, you know, it can be very contractive. Um, so what if instead of, you know, contracting and following the fear with our minds and our emotions and allowing them to get out of control, what if we just relaxed into it completely and just surrounded the fear energy with complete allowance, acceptance and unconditional love? What if we can just love it? You know, love it to death. <laughs> so basically releasing this mechanism of contraction, you know, oh no, there's fear. Oh, quick, I'm going to contract about it. But instead of reacting to it, we can allow it to be, which then relaxes the contraction, the mechanism of contraction of mind and body that's going to judge it or um, panic about it creating more fear, right? Which is what happens with these kind of emotions like anxiety and um, worry and things. The more we focus on it, the more it sort of uh, perpetuates itself and expands. So what about when it arises just to allow it to be fully in our awareness without judgment, but to kind of embrace it with love to surround it with love, unconditional love, just as you would if, you know, if you had a child that was afraid to, you know, climb something in the swing park, if it was afraid, but you knew that it was completely safe and that nothing was going to happen, but they can't see that. To them, it's a completely new experience. So there's a sense of fear. Um, so a lot of the time, our fears are just because we've not done things before. It's like a fear of the unknown, a fear of the new, a fear of change, you know, from, from that which we're um, used to. So it can just be like a, a shift, a change. But if instead we feared change, um, if instead of that, we just embrace it, embrace it. And also what we can ask the fear itself, you know, what, what is it that you're, you're wanting to show me here? Um, you know, so that's another, another way we can kind of deal with it. It's just asking the emotion, asking the fear, okay, so, so what is this showing me? You know, where am I, where am I limiting myself? Where am I contracting? Um, and where am I judging? So by embracing the fear with love or anxiety or worry, whatever it is, by just surrounding it with this unconditional love, this pure allowing, this pure awareness, this pure love light awareness of 
embracing it and loving it and nurturing it in that sense you know nurturing being a uh, being you know an agent of nurture when it comes to our emotions and our fears and whatever comes up in us so if we can instead be an agent of nurture and just love whatever is arising actually surround it with love just as we would if a friend came to us with some sort of problem you would sit and listen and you kind of you're kind of offering a space of love and support to help um, rationalize in a sense to help them see through you know their perspective because you might see it from a different perspective that's more expansive and and more liberating and then that that's that's what you kind of nurture your friend through so perhaps that's something to learn you know from these experiences is if we can become our own agent of nurture for ourselves when we experience these emotions then when it comes to helping other people um, we can also do the same and and quite a, kind of lead them to the same space the same place so that's all i wanted to share really I kind of covered it which was really just this idea of loving your fear to death you know surrounding it with love unconditional love and light and um you know allowing it to be without judgment and loving it like uh like you would your own child and and this helps to release any contraction it relaxes the the ego you know the mechanism that's going to contract around these things so we gently relax and go ah oh, fear you know <laughs> can i embrace it can i welcome it into my experience can i see can i look to see what it's showing me but then once i've seen that just to kind of pure purely love it just purely love it to death okay so that's all i have to share with you today sending you love and light if you need any um personal uh one-to-one -one counseling mentoring the link is below for that at my services uh, link and um i'm sending you love wherever you are in the world bye for now